Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to uh, Motivation Monday. I am your Monday motivator. My name is Kim and I'm the fitness coordinator for, coordinator, let's try that again, fitness coordinator for Seneca York. Um, and today, hello, we are going to do do-it-yourself hot chocolate, which is a perfect day because it is cold out there, it is windy, it's gloomy. Um, this can be easily made with anything that you might have at home right now. So. You don't have to go out and do some shopping. As long as you have some chocolate around, you will be okay. Um, just don't have it open before you start doing it because you will eat it and I'm gonna pay for that later. All right, so do it yourself hot chocolate. Really, really simple. You just need one ingredient and that's chocolate. You can add other stuff into it as well if you want, but you just need to find some chocolate and it doesn't have to be gourmet chocolate. You don't have to go out to the bulk barn. It could be leftover Halloween candy that you might have. So there's an arrow bar. That is not Halloween candy. Um, I stole that off someone. Um, it could be chocolate chips. It could be actual um, like meltables. Uh, you can get these at some of the baking stores like the Bulk Barn, um, you can get them at Michael's. Um, so that's all you need is chocolate. And then you can add other stuff in like marshmallows because what's hot chocolate without marshmallows? Okay, so how we're gonna do this is you have a couple of choices to do it. So I'm not a huge hot chocolate drinker just because I'm not supposed to have dairy or chocolate. I'm more of a tea drinker. So what I do is I made them individually. Um, so you need your chocolate, but you also need something to put your chocolate in. So these are individual silicone um, mold cupcake holders or cupcake, whatever you want to call them, liners that can go into the oven or into the fridge. Or you can use muffin pan. So this is the mini one. I know it's hard to see against my black shirt. And then you also have the big one. So it's up to you. You can make them small, you can make them big. I wouldn't suggest filling this all the way up with chocolate, all the way up to the top. Maybe only go about halfway or three quarters. The little ones you can fill all the way up to the top. Okay, so using a measuring cup, I'm just gonna make a single serving because I already have some that I've made and I really don't need any more in the house. You're gonna take some chocolate. So you can choose what kind that you want. This is dark chocolate. And all you're going to do is you're going to put for a single serving, half a cup. That's all you need. Okay, so put it in something that you can microwave really easy. This is a plastic cup, so I wouldn't be able to microwave that. So I'm just going to put it in this small glass bowl here. And you're going to pop it in the microwave for this little single serving. I would say probably about a minute 10. You don't want to burn your chocolate because then it smells gross and it looks gross. Um, you just want to make sure that you're stirring it, you're keeping an eye on it. So we're going to put that in the microwave. Here we go. And we're going to wait a minute. Actually, that's right next to the kettle. We don't want to do that because it's going to melt that chocolate. And then what you get is you get melted chocolate. So next thing you're going to do is you're going to pour it in whatever container that you have. So I'm going to pour it into this silicone mold here or scoop it out into the silicone mold and just smooth it down so it kind of looks nice and there's still lots of chocolate left over put you back over there and then if you want you can put your marshmallows in there so I can decorate with marshmallows and you can just sink the marshmallows in now, there is that thing going around on social media, the hot chocolate bombs. I could not find the molds for that, or I would have done that today for you. Um, but if you want, you can search that, and it is really cool. And if you can find the molds to do it, have at it, because that looks like it's a lot of fun to do. I'm gonna keep looking. Maybe Amazon has them. And I might order some up, because these are really good Christmas presents to give as well. Um, so if you're looking for something to hand out to family members or friends, do yourself hot chocolate. The last thing you need is something to put in the middle that you can pull out. And this is usually a stir stick, so I have bamboo stir sticks. And you're just gonna put it right in the middle, and the chocolate's going to form around it. Next thing you're gonna do is put that in the fridge. And I did mine overnight. Um, it, they seem to set really well. It just depends on how hot your chocolate is and also how much chocolate's in there, how dense it is. Um, but like I said, I did mine overnight, but it probably only takes a couple of hours for it to set. Avoid putting it in the freezer. When you put it in the freezer, what happens is the fat and the chocolate separates. Um, and that's when you get that white looking weird stuff on the top. It's still good to eat. It's just the fat has separated. It just doesn't look very good. Okay, so there we go. They are out of the freezer. They have frozen. I made a diff couple different 
kinds last night. That is white chocolate with um, one of my dark chocolate chips kind of exploded while I was uh, melting and then up inside the white chocolate. So it's kind of like a cookie crumble one but without the cookie. This is uh, white chocolate with peppermint. This one was Mars bars melted down. Um, so like I said, you can use chocolate bars as well. I had some Mars bars left over from Halloween and I decided to melt them down and make them into a hot chocolate. And there's the one that I just made, so dark chocolate with marshmallows in it. So taking one of them, like I said, this is, I'm gonna pay for this later. I'm not supposed to do this. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of milk in there. So this is uh, unsweetened vanilla almond milk, if anyone really wants to know. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of milk in there. You take your whatever one you want. I'm, I don't know which one I want. We'll do the dark chocolate. You just peel it out of the mold, which is really, really cool in the silicone ones. On the other ones, you may have to um, kind of use a knife to get it out. So you can hold on to the stick. I'm gonna dump that right into the mug. And next thing you're gonna do is boil some water. And you're gonna fill that up. And what's gonna happen is the hot water is going to melt that. You may want a longer stir stick, mine's pretty short. And then all you have to do is mix it around. The chocolate is going to melt. Hopefully a little bit quicker than this demonstration's going. <laughs> all you guys can see right now is the milk, which is really, really cool. And you're gonna give it some time and it will melt and it's going to make a nice thick chocolate for you. A little bit too much milk and I'm just making a mess on my desk now. You don't have to put the milk in, I just wanted that little bit of milk in there. And it probably just made the water a little bit cooler than what it's supposed to. So just stir it around, it will get dark, you'll see the chocolate is breaking up now against the glass. Science right here. And then you can stir it using a spoon. Use the chocolatey spoon, how about that? and break it up. Wow, that stick got really in there. Okay, you can mix it up. And there you go, a do-it-yourself hot chocolate, which is now all over my uh, desk here, which is awesome. Okay, so that is your do-it-yourself hot chocolate. Hopefully you're a little bit neater than I am, because I like to be messy, apparently. And that's still melting, which is awesome. So you still mix and stir. Like that Friends episode where all they do is just stir the coffee and drink it. And it's melted. And there's marshmallows in there too. I'm not a fan of marshmallows, but they're in there. All right, so thank you so much for tuning in today for your Motivation Monday. Enjoy your hot chocolate. It is very, very easy to make. Hopefully one day when I do find those molds, maybe we can do hot chocolate bombs, which are a little bit more exciting than this. Um, but if not, you can always look those up as well. Um, so stay tuned. We are back tomorrow with fitness classes at 1240. Um, you can connect through the website, www.senecasting.ca. Um, our links for the Zoom classes are there. And then Chris and I will be back tomorrow afternoon at 3.30 for Ask a Trainer. So we will be seeing you again soon. Have a great day, guys. Rest of the day. Be safe, be healthy, be well. Take care.